I'm Sophia A. Jackson. I'm the editor and founder of Aphrodisiac Theatre News. And Michael, would you like to introduce yourself and give us some background about who you are as well, please? Yeah, my name's Michael Duke. Um, I'm a London-based actor um, and I play Bob Marley in Get Up Stand Up Musical. So do you want to give us some background? So currently you are alternate Bob? Yeah, so I'm currently alternate Bob Marley. Um, uh, I have been since we opened in October and then from March onwards, um, I'll be taking over um, leading the show. So going from two shows a week to six shows a week. So how do yeah. you um, mentally and physically prepare yourself from that transition? Well, um, luckily I've been, so I, I'm transitioning and doing more shows each week now. So now I'm doing four shows a week throughout February to get me up to six because it's quite a big jump, you know. Um, but it's um, it's been a good it's been a good process, you know. I'm 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 quite uh, uh, when I'm not performing, I I, I do a lot of um, vocal exercises and uh, script work and stuff. So I've always kept myself sort of going when I'm not performing so yeah it has helped it has paid off yeah so um has Arinze given you any tips um <laughs> for, for doing this as a full-time gig um as he's about to hand over the baton yeah I have actually asked him <laughs> I, I have asked him um yeah. but we haven't we haven't had a sit down yet but when, when I do next see him I'm definitely gonna get some tips and see how we manage it every week. <laughs> um, so why were you attracted to being part of this production in the first place of Get Up, Stand Up? Um, well, I think you don't really see many stories told like this, especially in the West End um, yeah. theatre, you know, in, in commercial theatre. So I knew that it was, it was something that would be, a, it would be a historical production to be a part of. Mm. Um, so the moment I heard about the show, I was like, I have to play Bob Marley in that show. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and, you know, because I'm, I'm connected to the music and the language and the culture as a British Jamaican. Yeah. Uh, um, so that's it's important to me. So and as an actor, it's such a treat to to get your hands on something that you resonate with. Yeah. Um, yeah. So going back to being British Jamaican, um, obviously when you're playing a part where an accent is quite particular to that part, what's yeah. your patois like? It's quite good, you know. <laughs> it's quite good. I, I mean, I say that um, when it's confined to a script, it's good. But when it's sort of, you know, freestyling, it maybe maybe it's not as good i don't know but um it's again like sort of things like this has has made it a lot easier to prepare and to um to do the role because i knew all the music yeah um i the 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 the, the patois is easier for me um because i heard it a lot growing up i spoke it growing up do you know what i mean so um it was just fun to get my to get to get my hands on really um i still had i did have dialect sessions and stuff with yeah with um, our coaches um so that was good because you know just to really be authentic and and that with it because i was born here you know, i'm not jamaican born so yeah it's, it's a difference you know you you know we, there's there's a difference between how Jamaicans speak here and Jamaicans speak over there. So it's good to have that distinction. And have your family given you any feedback on your accent? Well, I was quite surprised. My nan said it was very good. <laughs> that's all so the that, feedback you need. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, okay, I'm doing I'm doing the right job. <laughs> yeah. Um so Bob Marley is loved by millions of fans around the world. How do you manage the pressure of having um, a glo playing a global icon and staying mm. true to his legacy? Well, I think authentic authenticity and respect is key for me. Yeah. 
um, respect for the music and the language, like I said. But I've also personally tried to maintain my own authenticity as a human mm -hmm. when approaching the role because I'm not impersonating him. I'm, yeah. I, I think, and I think that's important. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to portray um, my version of his character, you know, not him. Um, and as a cast, we're here to share what Bob has created. And luckily the music speaks for itself. Yeah. It's such good music and, and that makes it a lot easier for us, you know? And we have the most incredible musicians um, who play his music like brilliantly. So yeah. I think that helps. And also, I think it also helps that the majority of our cast company are of Caribbean descent. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that makes a huge impact to to what is produced on stage and in the pit every night. And you mentioned earlier um that you grew up listening to Bob Marley. Um so yeah. what are your, what are your can you share some of your personal experiences of what kind of influence Bob Marley has had in your own life? Well yeah I mean reggae and lovers rock as well were were, were big um big genres that were played in my house you know so bob um i bob bob and beres hammond uh, are like the two the two that i heard the most growing yeah. up um, um and it's nice also marcy griffiths who also she's a part of the show so um it was cool because i actually only had to learn a couple of songs from okay. the show because yeah. i already knew them all you know what i mean Excellent, so, yeah um so yeah it's always it's always just been a part a, a part of me and my upbringing so yeah and a cliche question but um do you have a favorite bob marley track um i think well yeah one of my favorites is natural mystic which unfortunately isn't in the show yeah <laughs> natural mystic is one of my favorites and my favorite song from the show has got to be concrete jungle yeah okay thank you and going back so the pandemic obviously we're easing out of the pandemic now thankfully yeah. but how do you manage the restrictions and covid19 protocols because obviously get get up stand up is quite an intimate show yeah. um yeah. yeah how are you managing with all of that and well it's quite we've had quite a strict um policy for testing and isolating right. and things like that wearing masks around the theatre and mm -hmm. obviously we encourage the um the theatre goers to wear masks as well yeah uh, and those sort of protocols have meant that we've been able to like operate safely mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's helped us get back up and running you know um so i appreciate all of the 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 measures that have had to be put in place in order for for it all to happen you know yeah. unfortunately we did have to shut down over christmas, christmas. Yeah. yeah like most actually the majority of theaters had to do that and yeah you know across the country you know business and stuff went down because of the, the omicron variant i think so so it's, it's unavoidable isn't it so we've had to just really understand appreciate that we're trying to put on a show during mm. a pandemic you know yeah. um and so these things are inevitable and i think in the end you know it is all made up for when we get on stage and perform every night because you 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 ex you know and you feel the energy from audiences and on stage it's like this is where we want to be this is where we're meant to be right now and um we try and do everything as safely as possible in order to just make people happy and share this story during this pandemic you know yeah. um, you know so we're trying we're, we're trying our best <laughs> and, and what for you personally is the best part of being part of get up stand up Ah, oh, there's so much. <laughs> there's so much. As an actor, to play this role is, I'm. Um, it's, it's humbling and it's just so exciting. It's, it's so. Um, it has so much depth to it, but it's also so fun 
and soulful and yeah. relevant, you know? So not just the role, but the story. Um, and it just feels like a blessing to be able to do that every night, you know? And I count my blessings every time I get home from work because yeah. of that. You know? That's really um, nice. <laughs> and that's nice. And I absolutely adore every single person that works in that theatre. <laughs> I love everyone. <laughs> yeah, you do definitely seem like you've got a bit of a family vibe going on, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. It's so, it, and it's it's very organic as well. We 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 give each other space. We're not always, you know, out together and doing this and that, but we do share such a great communal vibe, really, and have fun together. So, yeah, I can't. I can't ask for a better better cast and company, to be honest. Thank yeah. you. Um, I've got some quick aphrodisiac, quick fire, fun questions for you to end yeah. the interview. Um, so, which, where in the world is your favourite theatre venue and why? Ooh. <laughs> you know what? I would actually say the lyric, where we are now, because yeah. I did my first West End show there. Um, oh, what was that? It was Thriller, Thriller Live. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I did You've that. come full circle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and now I'm doing this one here. So it, it just, it feels, it feels really nice. Yeah. So I'd say there. Thank you. Um, what's the best theatre production you've ever seen? Ever seen? Oh. Whoa. Okay. The Scottsboro Boys. Oh, at the Young Vic. Yeah. Well, I saw it at the when it got transferred to the Garrick. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'd have to say the Inheritance, which is biased because I was in that, but it's <laughs> a great, great play. <laughs> um, what else? There's some. There is one that I've always loved, but I can't. I can't think of it now. So I'm going okay. to go them. We can come back to it. Um, what's your proudest career moment so far? I would say Bob Marley. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's brilliant. Yeah. Um, and finally, some words of wisdom for an aspiring actor. Um, acting is about is is life. Do you know what I mean? Like every day is a part of you being an actor. When you're not acting, it's part of your journey. When you're yeah. doing other work, it's a part of your journey. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, and it's important to find enriching experiences everywhere in life that will benefit you as an actor, for mm -hmm. sure. Thank you. Actually, I do have one more. If there was anyone dead or alive that you would like to see you in um, Get Up Stand Up, who would that be? To see anyone. me in Get Up Stand Up? Anyone. See me. Yeah. Oh, oh, my great-grandmother. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's lovely. All right. Thank you. I look forward to coming to see you in the show. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much.